Welcome to this new lecture on software engineering introduction and this is ED technology and I'm Navjot Singh Jadeja and in today's lecture we are going to talk on software engineering introduction and a lot of students while I'm teaching have experienced the software engineering as more of a theoretical subject which consists of all the rules of software engineering. So in today's lecture we are going to break those rules and uh, I'm going to break a lot of myths Software engineering is a pure practical science oriented subject and as you know like you know one of the very famous guys Richard Stallman that said that Softwares are basically just two possibilities either the user controls the program or the program controls the user And if the program controls the user and the developer controls the program then the program is an instrument of unjust power and that is why a software engineering according to me is a wonderful art art which requires a lot of other you know aspects as well as how to do those things uh, our software engineering is also a science so it's a combination of so many things and it's for sure not a theoretical theoretical concepts or you know rule book it's more of how to develop the you know a good qualitative cost effective and usable software so before we start with the introduction to what is software engineering I'd like to introduce what exactly engineering is though uh, most of you people would have heard about this and many of you because you are an engineering student and you are here referring to this would have been knowing this but let's discuss this very quickly so basically engineering is a field of science and technology which is involved in making use of natural human knowledge in order to invent design and build things which can solve our day-to-day -day problems or make our work easy or you know nowadays there are technologies which provide comfort so basically engineering is combination of all these things so now uh, the question arises why are we talking on software so software powers today's most complex systems in fact there are very few dom uh, domain I would know where there is no software required so now coming to a software engineering definition which is a wonderful definition provided by IEEE standard of software engineering terminology which says that the application of systematic disciplined quantifiable approach quantifiable as in the measurable approach to the development operation and maintenance of a software so if you see it's a very simple de uh, definition which involves the process of development as well as the usage and post usage of the software and uh, you know it's a very important definition for you to understand that software engineering is a combination of the processes used to develop a software use a software and maintain the software uh, now another thing which I think a lot of people are not sure on or get confused with is software engineer versus a developer many of the students who are studying right now in the computer IT background and even the students which I teach do ask me so what is better software engineer or a developer and again they have their own pros and cons but I would say software engineer is somebody who designs thinks about the software way before the development starts so developer is somebody who codes it's more of a coder right but as a software engineer is much more than that so software engineers are the one who build and support the software and everyone who is involved directly or in indirectly are part of the software engineering process so there are customers there are you know people who develop the software or the coders or the developers and people who design and you know formulate the front ends people who work with the environments everybody is part of the software engineering process and as you can see here software engineering engineers task is to understand and implement all this and come up with a some byproduct or a work product which can actually provide a wonderful solution to the given purpose of the problem and whenever I'm teaching software engineering I insist people to understand this that softwares are there to solve the purpose so if you're not sure what is the purpose then your software may not yield the right set of results for example uh, the Mozilla Firefox software is basically for browsing 
so if it provides the functionality of drawing or paint instead of paint would not be the right purpose for it if it is providing as an additional thing it's wonderful but the primary purpose is browsing internet and uh, providing the you know communication between the computer user and the internet world similarly your software should have a right purpose and then additional things can be found out so uh, you know in order to have a wonderful software engineering artifact created or a wonderful software created you need a set of tools for programming and software engineering so the basic tools which you need is to work with flowcharts you will need uh, understanding of different models such as waterfall model spiral model uh, and many more you need understanding of uml which is unified modeling language to represent uh, all the things which you are getting from the customers and putting into a understandable form for the developers there is also a new set of things which is uh, available which is agile models so agile models are something which can be used to develop a software uh, also you need a pro computer programming tools and repository tools such as you know git to store the code and to share the code there are editors such as uh, eclipse which are available compilers to debug and write the code and here is a set of uh, link which uh, would be useful for your understanding and there are some books and a uh, lot of other resources available which you can use i'll be sharing the same in the comment section so you can use this resources to prepare and understand uh, what software engineering is all about uh, also i have given the links in here for different uh, you know concepts which we have discussed here right? in the furthermore lectures we'll be discussing about uml we'll be talking on flowchart we'll also see what are the different uh, applications of software engineering in the real world so you can refer to those things uh, i would suggest uh, by the next lecture you surely create your git account uh, i'll be posting a new video on how to create a git account or what is a git account very soon so you can you can use uh, that resource as well uh, you can use this links which are developed in here Uh, there are a lot of programming languages available uh, choice of programming languages will be purely on the basis of what you are trying to develop and your expertise or available expertise so what programming language is suitable for what sort of development is again a, a different uh, discussion then if you have any queries uh, you can post it on my comment section we will be talking this uh, for a period of time i want you to uh, implement different software engineering principles for the same so i hope you had a good introduction of uh, software engineering I hope you understand what software engineering is all about and uh, I hope this also breaks the myth about software engineering being a theoretical subject. Uh, I hope you understand uh, whatever I've taught. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Happy learning.